Hi everybody. Um, today I want to talk to you a little bit about, um, well I want to tell you a story. Um, it is a great story that I learned in art school. I've heard many, many times. Um, and the reason that I'm going to tell this story is that uh, it answers a question or a couple of questions really that I get a lot. Um, on my social media, my Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, and especially on Instagram, um, I get asked a number of questions all the time and I try to answer them as much as I can. Um, but a couple of them are a little bit more complicated. Um, this story helps to answer it, um, at least one of them well and, and really two of them, um, in a way that, that kind of explains it better than me just giving a, a rote answer. So the questions, first of all, that, that hopefully the story will answer. Um, number one, a question I get all the time is, how long did that take? Um, and I know that when people ask the question, how long did that take, they want to know when you started with a bare piece of paper until the, f the minute that you signed it, how long did it take? Um, but really, the answer is much more complicated than that. So hopefully with this story that will help. Um, the other thing uh, that, the, that the story um, will touch on is a little bit about pricing your work, and that relates to... Um, that same sort of thing, right? That um, what is the value of your time and what actual time did it take to get to somewhere, um, to that point in, in your personal artistic ability and skills and what have you. So um, the story, as I mentioned, I, I learned this from at least three or four different teachers in art school. Um, I've heard different variations over the years. Um, I've read it several times online too. Again, different variations. Um, this is the version that I like the most. Um, I like to think that with so many different sources that it probably is real, uh, but it, you know, it's it's possible that someone's fabricated it. Um, but nevertheless, it's a fun story. So <clears throat> I hope that you'll uh, that you'll listen to it, whether you're an artist or just an, an art appreciator. It's a good story. So um, it takes place sometime in I think the 60s or 70s. Uh, early 70s, uh, Pablo Picasso is in a cafe in Paris and uh, a tourist walks into the cafe and he sits down and he looks over and he notices in the back of the of the room that there's Picasso and he's excited, right? Picasso, um, unlike most artists, was very, very well known and, and very famous. Um, and this tourist is, is very, you know, he's beside himself. What do I do? What do I do? So he waits, and as he's sitting there and trying to get up the nerve to decide whether or not he should go say anything or go, you know, introduce himself or whatever, um, he noticed Picasso reaches over and grabs a napkin and does a little doodle. Um, and for those of you that might be wondering, uh, disposable napkins were invented by this time because I that was one thing that I said. Wait a minute, is that is that possible? But they were invented and widely used at that time. So anyway, so Picasso takes his napkin, scribbles something on it for. 30 or 40 seconds, maybe a minute, and then he puts it aside. And he goes back to what he was reading or whatever he was doing. And the tourist finally gets up the nerve to go over and say hello. So he walks over to Picasso and he says, you know, first of all, you're Picasso, right? And, and Pablo Picasso says, yep, I am. And the man, is he gushes and he says, you know, I'm such a huge fan. I love your work. You're brilliant. Um, you know, I'm just... I." I can't even say enough. I'm just speechless. You're just amazing. And Picasso, just, you know, very graceful as he, as he was apparently, um, said, oh, thank you. You know, appreciate it. And uh, the man says, can I have your autograph? And Picasso says, I'm sorry, I, I don't do that. It's not really the type of thing that I do. Um, but he said, here, you can have this. And he hands the man the sketch. And the man is beside himself, right? Picasso has given him a sketch. Um, now, in some versions of the story, Picasso asks for money, but in the in the one that I like, he doesn't. He just says, no problem. But the man, being a fair and affable sort of fellow, says, let me pay you. And Picasso says, no, it's a gift, don't worry about it. And the man said, no, no, I've got to pay you something, let, let me pay you. And so he reaches in his wallet for the equivalent of maybe 50 bucks by today's standards. And Picasso looks at him, he says, Okay, it's $10,000.
And the man, his jaw dropped, obviously. And he said, what? What do you mean $10,000? And Picasso said, well, I was going to give it to you for free. And the man said, yeah, but I, I want to pay you something fair. Picasso said, yes, it is fair. And the man said, well, how is that fair? You, you spend a minute on it, two minutes tops, and it's $10,000? Picasso said, I didn't spend a minute on it. And the man said, yes, you did. I was sitting over there. I watched you. You spent a minute on this drawing, and now you think it's worth $10,000. And Picasso said, my dear fellow, I spent 60 years on that drawing. So you get where the story is going here, right? Um, the point being that people ask me and other artists all the time, how long does that take? And um, the answer you know, there's really, there's two answers, right? One is it took three hours or it took 10 hours or it took 40 hours or however long it took from a bare piece of paint, a bare piece of paint or a bare, bare canvas into, uh, you know, a framed or whatever finished state. But then there's also the amount of time, how long did it take from the person, the artist going through life, training, etc., etc., right? Um... I think sometimes we underestimate the value of all of the training that we do, right? If, if, a, if a particular piece of work takes you 10 hours and you think, well, you know, I'm, I'll take 10 hours at $20 an hour, this is how much it's worth. No, it's, it's, it, can't, it can't be that because, you know, it took you a long time to get to that point, right? And so um, in answer, when people always say to me, how long did it take you to draw that? I normally will say, well, it took me three years. Or, sorry, it took me three hours to do a, one of my normal sketches. You know, one of these types of things. Um, but it took me probably 30 years to get to that point. Okay. Um, so anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Um, the story's fun. Uh, if you like it, uh, let me know. Uh, you know, give me a comment down below. Um, and I will... Uh, try to dig up some more stories and um, I'm gonna try to do some more not just drawing videos but maybe some um, reviews book reviews material reviews what have you um, and then of course some some more sort of demos and and that sort of thing but if you have more suggestions more requests whatever let me know um, give me a give me a comment down below um, and don't forget to subscribe and um, I'll talk to you next time thanks very much bye bye